So for today, we're going to be looking at exotic boots. Specifically, the hunters are going to be looking at the lucky pants. The titans are going to be looking at the path of the burning steps. And last but not least, warlocks, we're going to be looking at the geomag stabilizers. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do enjoy making these. I will probably do more of these just because it's a lot of fun. And yeah, that's really it. I just had a lot of fun making these, specifically the hunter and the titan. I think those two are really cool. And the warlock looks super, super cool as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub. It all does really help with the algorithm and everything and it just motivates me to make more content so without further ado let's just get into the video so to start off we're going to be looking at the hunter real quick i do sound a little weird or at least i think i sound weird it is because i am sick right now so I do apologize if i sound weird but for the hunters we're going to be using the lucky pants now this is an inspiration from another set that i saw uh muffin bandit post i'll post it right here Essentially, a uh, resident sniper from Reddit did an amazing job with this set. It looks super, super cool. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of helmets that take the hood off. So he ended up using the tiger mask, which I think is super cool. But man, I really wish we could take the hood off because then it would really open up a lot of possibilities for the hunters. But yeah, this was really cool. I thought it was super dope and I got really mad because I was like the chest piece and the boots look so good together that I really wanted to make a set for it. And I really didn't realize it, but I did take three pieces from this whole set. So this isn't mine per se. It is more of an inspired look that I got from Resident Sniper. Again, really cool set. Uh, specifically, the differences are the shader, the helmet and the arms, which the helmet we're using the illicit collector mask because I think it invokes a really good sense of cowboy. And for the arms, we're using the Vanguard Dare Grips specifically because I like the fact that the arms on the top, specifically the, sho the shoulder butt pads, uh, make it look bigger than it really is. So overall, I don't really have much to say about this one because again, this is more of an inspired look from the Resident Sniper set that he made or she made, and it looks amazing. So the only thing that is different that I think is really big is the Canis Coat shader. I wanted to go for a different shader, although the shader that they use is really good. It's just that I think for a cowboy look, I, I want a little bit more brown in there because that just makes more sense to me, which is why I'm using this set. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, I really, really love the set that the Resident Sniper did. It's super, super dope. And again, I want to just reiterate, this is not an original set that I made. This is more of an inspired look that I made. And yeah, that's really it. As for the Titans, we are using the Path of the Burning Steps, specifically with the Piratic Footfalls ornament. I think this looks super, super cool. Unfortunately, you can only do this with iron when iron banners up because the chest piece only burns when iron banner is up, which is why I specifically made this video because I wanted to make a look with the burning chest piece. And it's just unfortunate that we also can't choose to have the fire on or off. So for the helmet, we're using the Apilos following helm. Uh, I'll explain why I'm using the helmet in a bit. The arms, radiant breaker gauntlet specifically because of the fire the chest piece again because of the fire and then the boots uh specifically the ornament because the fire is coming out and then for the mark i just ended up deciding using the moon one because i really like it and i really like how it just looks kind of like like really beat up and old so the reason i'm using the apollo's following home is because i wanted to invoke this look to have kind of like a demonic fire look like this warrior is from like Kind of like scorpion where like he, he takes off his mask and he's like just a skeleton but like he uses a lot of fire kind of like that if i'm being quite honest but with my own twist obviously and i think it came out really good i think a lot of the pieces look really well together i will say that the helmet the specifically like the back of the helmet looks a little too like visceral so it doesn't look really good with like the really pristine look of the radiant breaker gauntlets but it's such a minimal thing for me that as a whole it just looks super super cool Titans, let me know what you guys think. Again, we're using the Ensilvered Snare for this shader because A, I really like how the Apilos helm uh, becomes darker. Because if you guys don't know, the, like, the the red skeleton thing does actually change color depending on which shaders you use. And with Ensilvered Snare, it does get a lot deeper. So that's why I'm using that shader. And I also like the fact that the chrome really goes well with this whole set. And the blue also looks really cool. Again, Ensilvered Snare is like one of the best shaders in the game the resident sniper set that you guys saw from the hunter 
he's he or she is using the silver snare so that's such a good shader definitely recommend getting it if you don't know how to get it it's from the grasp of avarice dungeon it's not that hard to do it's just you do have to solo flawless it so just be aware of that as for the warlocks this one is kind of a flex a little bit because it just looks super cool but i just dis decided to go in with i want to go for an electrical look but i don't want to use blue i want to use another color which is why i'm using purple and also because the helmet for legacy old cow has purple in it so i wanted to lean into the purple so for the helmet again i just said legacy old cow i really like this helmet for the arms using the elect of the empty gloves because of the purple obviously and then for the painted kitsune robe we're using the amethyst veil because i really like how the purple comes up but also because it's just so dark and then for the geomag stabilizers electromag stabilizers is probably like my favorite ornament that they have because it just fits really well and it just looks really good, especially if you combine it with other glowy bits. And then for the Forbidden Visage Bond, again, Amethyst Veil is such a good shader for purple. I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for people because Amethyst Veil is kind of like worn out. But in this sense, I'm using it to really just show off the shader and not so much the blackness of it. So for me, I would probably rock this. It's going to trip people out because purple is usually like void. So if they see this, they're going to be like, wait are you void or are you arc and obviously i'm going to be using arc with this i really enjoy this set it looks super cool again i really enjoyed making all of these sets just because i had a lot of fun making these uh with the with the exception of the hunter because obviously i i, I chose a lot of pieces from the set that resident cyber did but even then like i enjoyed making like which shader do i choose with this because that took a long time even the arm the helmet like just choosing the the correct pieces because i wanted to make this cowboy themed as much as possible and damn let me tell you i was really tempted to use the arms that resident sniper used but i was like i need i need to at least use two pieces so that way i'm just not changing the helmet but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below I, again like i said i will probably try to be doing more of these where it's just random exotics into a video because I really enjoy making armor sets like most of the time when i when i turn on destiny 2 it's mostly just to put fashion on not to play the game because quite frankly i'm kind of burnt out from the game right now which is understandable but yeah guardians let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me again links are in the description below i do apologize that i sounded sick all this time but again really enjoy making these videos and i will have some more content out for you guys uh tomorrow is tuesday which means we'll have the weekly video but we'll, this video will also probably be up by that time and then after that we have uh doomfang pauldrons that i'm probably going to be posting the, ne the next day and then from there we're going to do some other content specifically like we're going to talk about crucible iron banner armor that's coming the iron banner armor that's coming next season I'm, i really want to talk about that before it comes out and just other stuff like discussion type videos but don't worry fashion is also still coming which reminds me if you guys want to specifically ask for an exotic let me know in the comments below i'll be more than happy to get started on it with you so be safe and i'll see you guys later